this artist brought socially conscious music to 20 countries around the world. Four time Juno Award nominee with three top 10 singles. Tom Barlow joins me today. Hey, Tom, how are you? I am well. Thanks very much for having me. Okay, so we're talking about your latest single, The Wizard, and you're bringing light to the opioid crisis. There's a lot of people who know far more about the crisis that are sort of bringing light to the tragedies that unfold and are unfolding. Uh, this song is, is more particularly about a person named Richard Sackler, who was the uh, CEO of Purdue Pharmaceutical, which convinced the world that um, opioids were the appropriate response to everyday chronic pain. And that created a situation of him becoming a multi-billionaire and his family becoming a multi-billionaire and all of this misery and death filling up the world, it seems. So I thought that uh, there's a lot of really uh, informed people working the day to day, but not enough people, I think, understand that this, you know, terrible human still lives with his billions in his mansions and that uh, this song should call him out. There's hundreds of thousands of people dying every day from this and you're going to be doing more. You've got an upcoming concert in Toronto at the Drake on June 12th. You're going to be educating people on naloxone? Yeah, so the opening act is a, is a woman named Catherine Harrison and she is a singer-songwriter and activist in this space. And Catherine does naloxone training and mental health emergency training. So if you come down to the show on the 12th, Catherine is going to do an opening set as an activist singer-songwriter, but also is going to make sure that everyone knows, okay, where do I get a naloxone kit? Where do I get trained on it? What do I do if I think somebody is having a mental health crisis because as we know the connection between um, mental health and addiction is 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 so close Catherine will be providing all of that information for anyone who comes down and there won't be an actual naloxone training at this show Mm -hmm. but you'll get all the information you need for where to get that type of training and where to pick up a naloxone kit so this goes along with the wizard is the single that we're talking about so quotes from a requisition that was put out have been recorded was it a talk show that you got these off of and actors brian cranston and michael keaton are in your music video as sackler yeah i mean that's a crazy thing to have two you know in international superstars in your music video but uh when i was writing the lyrics for this song i thought the best way to indict this guy on being such a terrible human is to just to use his own words so i collected a bunch of internal emails that had been made public because of various court cases and various recorded depositions and i just collected a file of richard sackler quotes and wrote the song you know parallel to that uh john oliver the uh, you know great uh, satirist comedian did a story on the opioid crisis and said you know sadly we don't have Richard Sackler saying these things on video so he called some of his actors friends to read these quotes which happened to be the exact quotes from the song so it it turns out that um, John Oliver wanted people to use these these great actors reading these quotes in their own art pieces royalty free oh, so nice. okay. suddenly those guys are in my music video and it you know i think it, it's a powerful combination okay well we'll link the video here and then you're having the preview party and the release people can hear ahead of time your new album that's coming out when are you releasing the new album we're thinking about the end of september on my birthday september 24 for the album release we're back in touring mode now after uh, almost three years off because of the pandemic so in that time we've put together a new show and they're very excited this summer to be touring it. And the very first time those songs we played live will be on June 12th at the Drake Underground. Where's the tour taking you beyond that? Pretty much anywhere they'll have us. We're doing uh, festivals everywhere. We're from big to small community rib fest. So there's something very motivational about feeling what you have to say. It's not only good art. I, I would think that every artist thinks they're making good art but that the message is something you feel driven to get heard because it's important and because in in my opinion Richard Sackler's name should roll off the tongue the same way Pablo Escobar's does but instead of being in prison uh, this man has mansions across the world it's just outrageous and I think if people knew the story they would be outraged and of course if anybody knows someone 
dealing with an opioid problem, uh, there's ways to get help with it and to know more about it. Everyone is talking about a mental health crisis. Mm -hmm. Uh, We know we're in a mental health crisis. Yep. But it seems to be there's not either the political will or the public will or the public knowledge to get past stigma and really say, okay, we need to solve these problems. And I think that we all collectively have to do what we can, because at this point, we all know somebody, somebody's daughter, somebody's mom, somebody's son who is struggling or has tragically passed away and we have to do something we have to do more than we're doing and that's one of the great things about uh catherine harrison's project is she's tackling both those things simultaneously the mental health crisis and the opioid addiction crisis. Well, it's really great that you are bringing that and awareness to that at the Drake on June 12th. People can get their tickets in the link that's provided. And we were talking about your new album. What's it called? Cruel World. How many songs can we expect to see on the album? So there's going to be uh, seven songs, including The Wizard. Yeah. And uh, I got to collaborate with some really interesting people that I'd never worked with before, people who work in sort of different genres. So there's electronic elements and rock elements and uh, funk elements. I, I'm, I'm really excited about getting this out there. So is this through your band, Barlow, or is it like a solo project, Tom Barlow? No, it's, it's through the band. I mean, the yeah. band is a very loose collection of people. I co-wrote songs with the bass player, Tom Lewis. I've co-wrote songs with the drummer, uh, Chris McNeil. I've co-written songs with the producer, Bill Bell. So it's a it's a bunch of different flavors in the pot here that have made this album. Okay, well, looking forward to the show on June 12th. And thank you, Tom, for taking the time with me today and shedding some light on the crisis, your new album, and, of course, the song The Wizard. You can see it on YouTube and get it on the online platforms. Is the album going to be available on all the platforms, too? Uh, the album will eventually be, in, in September, be available on all the platforms but as of june 12th the wizard will be out and available everywhere perfect all right well thanks for talking to me today tom thanks so much